Hi, this is a tutorial for Milton version 1.1. So, let's create a new canvas. You can move around by pressing space and dragging. That's how you move around. You can zoom in with Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus. Or with a mouse wheel and if you have touch on your um, yeah, touch is not supported, uh, but um, use your mouse wheel <laughs> or control plus and, co and control minus. Um, you can hide or, sh or show the, the GUI with tab and control the opacity with the number keys. So 1 is 10%, uh, 2 is 20, 3 is 30, up until 9, which is 90 and 0 is 100% uh, so full opacity. You can also use the brushes window so um, to control the brush size and uh, the opacity. Um, which looks cool but honestly it's uh, just much faster to, to use a keyboard. So um, I guess my first tip is to always use the keyboard. Uh, uh, always uh, learn how uh, learn the keyboard shortcut because uh, for everything in Milton there is a keyboard shortcut except uh, well not everything but most things now um, um, so the the Milton cam uh, canvases are always uh, being saved but this is this has not been uh, actually saved to a file so we're gonna open an existing canvas and it's, it, it's, it's going to ask us if we want to save. So we're going to say no, we don't want to save. And that means we're going we're gonna to lose our work. But if we, have, if we by any chance have been wor working for like um, two hours, we could lose our work. So you have to be careful. If it asks us to uh, to save, you might want to read and say, uh, yeah, I want to save. So, no, we, at this moment, we don't want to save. So, open. We're going to open this. And this uh, drawing of my dog. I'm going to open the eyedropper tool. So, the eyedropper tool, uh, which didn't open, eyedropper tool. Um, uh, chooses chooses the color uh, which you're ho hovering ho hovering over. Um, so as you can see, the color picker is dynamically updating uh, whatever color I am hovering my cursor over, which is useful when you're painting. Um, otherwise, I can I can use the the, but the buttons that are that are underneath the color picker which are gonna be updated whenever I paint. <clears throat> what else? I can uh, make layers invisible. I can move them up or down. But I'm guessing you know how to use layers. But if you don't, oh, you can uh, double click to hide the layers window. Uh, what else? Uh, you can uh, use E to erase or B to uh, use a brush. What else? Mm -hmm. You can set the background color uh, from here some color, let's say, zero, and let's, so that means we can use it, <laughs> this, this is a happy coincidence, I, I swear I didn't plan this, but I swear I didn't plan this, um, like, uh, blackboard, so, I hope Casey sees this.
<sighs> so yeah, that's my dog. <clears throat> and now we're gonna open. I wanted to show you my. This is Flowey from Undertale. If you haven't played Undertale, you just saw a very creepy drawing. But this is my fan art for Undertale that has a uh, drawing here uh, in one of the, te of the teeth. Uh, we're, we're gonna. This is a demo so we can export to a file. So we're gonna go ex file. Uh, export to image and then it says uh, click and drag to select the area to export so you click and drag and then it says <clears throat> this is your current selection and then you can select the, you can modify the scale so you scale up and we're gonna scale uh, you can also go here and just go like okay 10, 20 so our resulting image is gonna be uh, 10k by 10k so okay, we're gonna we say uh, export selection. It's gonna take a while. It, right now it's rasterizing uh, the image to memory. Okay, so now it's done, and it's gonna go. We're gonna save it to Flowey. The PNG. Now it's saving to PNG. I know that the GUI shouldn't uh, be blocking, but hey. Okay, so it's exported successfully. So, yay! <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and flowy. Open it. Here it is. And we zoom. Here it is. Our 10k by 10k image, with, which we can use as a wallpaper to scare our friends. <coughs> So, how long are we going? Uh, seven minutes. So quickly, I'm gonna. Uh, this is a very, very old Milton canvas. It's an old guy. Oh, what did I do? Yeah. Oh, right. <clears throat> so it's gonna have artifacts. So that is just because this is not entirely binary compatible because it's so old. But it still kind of works. I'm just gonna show you that uh, this is like an hour of work from an experienced designer, just to show you that you can actually make some art with this. And I just want to tell you that I hope that you use this program for good. <laughs> I, I hope you. I just hope you use this program, and <clears throat> I hope you enjoy it, and that. You show me all the cool stuff you do with it. And <clears throat> you can go here to help, then go to the website. And I'm going to try to um, set up something that where you can post um, whatever you do with Milton. Because I really want to see the cool stuff you do with this because it's, it's exciting and thank you so much for watching this thank you so much for downloading and um, yeah thank you thank you thank you and if you have uh, yeah you just go to Milton website send me an email and if you have any questions um, go to the if, if you have bug reports go to the Git, github um, and submit a bug report and thanks.